welcome back to my channel. My name is Dana. Thanks again for watching. If you're new here, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Hi! <laughs> this one is a fun one. I'm doing like a few different sunscreens today. Sometimes, you know, on my channel I switched up and I do skin tints a lot. I do tubing mascaras. But today, it's all about sunscreen. And by, I mean, today I batch film because <laughs> I work full time. So I sit down on the weekend and I just film like however many videos I can get through on a day. And today I am doing lots of sunscreen ones. And this one, I think you guys are gonna be really excited about. We are in fact talking about the Bloom Effects, what is this called? Tulip Dew Vitamins and Mineral Broad Spectrum SPF 50. This is indeed, I think, the prettiest packaging I've ever seen. The box that it came in was even prettier. I know that doesn't mean that like you should buy it for this, but if you're gonna buy one sunscreen just for the packaging, I truly believe that this probably should be it. <laughs> like I can just imagine if you have a very fancy and like clean bathroom, unlike myself, having this sit on the bathroom counter, it would just be stunning. So that's my little like weird, not rant in a bad way, in a good way. <laughs> but we're gonna sit down I'm gonna go through this sunscreen like I always do. I'm gonna apply it to my face like I always do and give you my final thoughts at the end of this video. So if you are enjoying that, if you will enjoy it, if you won't enjoy it, I don't care. Give it a thumbs up, give it a thumbs down, whatever you want and consider subscribing because it does help my channel so, 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 so much. So let's get going. All right. Before I apply, I will just talk you through my skin type. So I have pretty normal combo skin at the moment. I used to have dry skin. I'm gonna be actually talking about that in a video upcoming because a lot of people ask me like, you say you had dry skin and now you have normal. How did you do that? I kind of referenced it and talked about it in a previous video, but I'm gonna do a full like updated one soon. So that should be coming, so keep an eye out for it. But like I said, I do have normal skin. I live in the US, obviously. You probably could tell by my accent or lack thereof. But it's hot and humid here. It was 87 degrees yesterday, which is like, it's not even April, it's March. It's already hot. I think it's gonna drop back down, but we just get a lot of humidity in the air and my skin doesn't need a lot extra. So that's kind of where I'm at. I have a light to medium skin tone. My body gets very tan. I am like part Greek, not like part Greek. I am part Greek, so I can tan pretty easily, but I try to keep my face away from the sun. So that's where we're at. Now I'm really gonna start the video. We'll zoom in, apply it to my face, and I'll talk through it. This one you have to shake pretty vigorously. Always apply with my quarter teaspoon, even when I'm applying it in my daily life. I just want to make sure that I have the correct amount. And I think this one goes everywhere. All right, so I would say five pumps if you're not using a teaspoon, and that will be the correct amount for your face and neck. This is the Tulip Dew Sunscreen Serum, 100% mineral and vitamins, broad spectrum, SPF 50. It says it's an ultra lightweight, hydrating, 100% mineral, non-nano zinc oxide, SPF 50 sunscreen enriched with multivitamins to provide serum-like benefits. Skin is protected with an instant radiance and dewy glow. I do agree with that. So this retails for $65, so it's not cheap. We're up here in like the Tatcha price range for sunscreens, and it does come in 1.8 fluid ounces or 55 milliliters. So you're getting a little bit more than the standard amount, but pretty heavy price tag. They say that this is for all skin types, which I'm gonna say no, <laughs> but then they clarify and say, especially dry, dull skin looking for hydration and instant radiance. So I do think that is a little bit more accurate. I would not recommend this for friends of mine with oily skin. This is just gonna be too much. As you can see on my face, it's got a nice dew. It's kind of a serum, kind of oil-based. So if you do have more oily skin, unless you're prepared for this, I would say it's not for you. But I do like that they kind of clarify that. I am pretty sure that this brand is actually out of um, the Netherlands. So on the ingredient list, it does have zinc oxide as your primary active ingredient and filter, but it does not say how much, which is okay by me. It is regulated 
Sunscreens are regulated, especially in Europe, so it has an SPF of 50, so I'm pretty sure that the percentage of active ingredients is just fine. There are a lot of antioxidants in this. There are a lot of extracts. I would say that there is a pretty large and extensive ingredient list, so if you are kind of hesitant because maybe you think that something in there might not agree with your skin, or if you know you have any allergies, go ahead and take a look. It's definitely a fuller list, which is not a bad thing. There's just more to it. It is fragrance free. And I would say as far as the tint goes, it's very minimal tint. And I will show you that in the swatch ones in one second, but it is also fragrance free. Okay. So I think it looks really beautiful on my skin. I am not like opposed to looking this glowy, this dewy. As far as kind of the dry down, I wouldn't say that there's a particular dry down. To me, it really does feel like a serum, but like an oil-based serum. So unless your skin is gonna kind of absorb that quickly, which mine doesn't since it's more normal, it is gonna feel a little bit greasy, but not in a bad way, but just a little bit more, you know, sitting on your skin unless you have drier skin. I want to show you a close up of kind of the color of this sunscreen. It really reminds me a lot of the Tatcha sunscreen, which is funny because it's kind of a comparable price. It's very, very liquidy. You can just see it running down my hand. And while it's not white, it obviously has somewhat of a tint. It's not really one particular shade. So I think it will go pretty nicely on a lot of skin tones. That said, when I'm looking at it like on my hand and even on my face, it does kind of pull like a little bit more cool. So if you have a deeper skin tone, it might pull a little bit too cool and a little look a little ashy on your skin. I think if you just blend it in though, it will look a little bit better. But on deeper skin tones, there is, I think, a possibility of it looking a little ashy. I don't see any white cast in my eyebrows, on my hairline, which is kind of where I tend to see any cast, even if it's a tinted sunscreen. And as this one sits on your face and kind of like uh, has the chance to absorb, I do tend to notice if you do have a cast, it kind of dissipates over a few minutes. So that's something to keep in mind if you do have a deeper skin tone than me. Okay, so what are my final thoughts on this sunscreen? I took this with me to California because California is much drier in climate. It was actually raining. If you have been watching the weather, that's not a surprise. It was raining like the whole time I was there. So it wasn't quite as dry as it typically can be. So I did, I did feel like this was a little bit heavier on my skin, not in a bad way. Like it doesn't actually feel heavy. It just feels a little greasy sometimes to me. And again, I'm trying to like get the words right because it doesn't feel greasy in like when you can really feel like heavy, like thick consistency. It just feels more like an oil, an oil that's not really soaking into my skin type. I think this sunscreen is gonna be absolutely wonderful for those of you with drier, dehydrated skin. 100%, you're gonna lather this on your face. Your skin is gonna soak it up. It's absolutely gonna do wonders, or hopefully. <laughs> but if you have more normal to oily skin, I think it's gonna be a little bit more for your skin type, especially as we move into warmer weather. So for me, I would wear this in the winter time. It's just gonna be too much for me now that I'm getting into, God, like 90 degree days already but it has this beautiful glow. You just look healthy, radiant. So I think this is one of those sunscreens that's absolutely great for a lot of people. It just depends on what you like and what you need. So I have no really issues with it other than the price tag, which is insane, but it just, you know, again, goes down to your skin type and kind of what you're looking for. I can't tell you what to buy, but I can give you kind of the details and hopefully that helps a little bit. <laughs> All right, I gotta take this earring out because it's just gonna fall out otherwise and my husband hopefully can fix it. But I will see you guys in the next video and hopefully my earring will not be falling out. <laughs> All right, bye guys.